Hi, I'm Dr. David Nguyen, CEO of BrainSkinology, and today we're going to talk about how to draw a clock. You will need a piece of paper that is standard printer paper, eight and a half inches wide by 11 inches tall. And when you draw the clock, you will use a pen that's either black or blue ink, and you will draw a circular clock that has 12 numbers and two hands. And the hands should point to 10 minutes after 11. Now there's nothing special about this time. It's just a convention we all follow so that we are objective. Keep in mind that when you draw the clock, the time limit is three minutes. You should not spend more than three minutes in drawing a clock. Now when you're drawing the clock or planning to upload a clock drawn by someone else, it's important that whoever's drawing the clock does not get any help and does not use any tools other than the pen to draw the circular clock. So if someone needs a reminder about what a clock looks like, you should show it to them two days before they actually draw the clock on their own. In this way, the clock draw test will truly test their memory of what a normal clock looks like. Now let's talk about six common mistakes to avoid. First, make sure to draw your circle carefully. No one draws a perfect circle, but do take your time to draw it carefully. Avoid drawing ovals, which are seen here, and avoid drawing rounded corners, which can be seen here. The next common mistake is to not draw overlapping lines. These overlapping lines will cause your circle to look very odd to our software. Therefore, draw your circle carefully. Mistake number three is forgetting to make sure that the image is vertical before you submit it to the app. Horizontal images will lead to incorrect results. Mistake number four is forgetting to include a dark border. Panel A shows you the correct way to photograph your clock. Make sure the camera is parallel to the piece of paper. Panel C shows the mistake of having a light border. The border should be dark, just like in panel A. Panel D shows the mistake of not centering the paper in the middle of the image. And panel E shows the mistake of forgetting to include a border. Remember, a correct clock image should look like panel A. Lastly, it's very important to use only blank white paper as seen on the left. Do not use line paper to draw your clocks. This is a common mistake that should be avoided. And the sixth mistake is to include tick marks on the edge of your clock. You do not need tick marks. These are the marks that some people put next to numbers. If you add these marks, our software will think that your clock edge is very wavy. Therefore, do not include tick marks on the edge. Lastly, I wanna point out that you don't have to draw a large clock. Small clocks work just fine. The larger you draw your clock, the harder it is to control the smoothness of the circle. So feel free to draw smaller clocks. Mm -hmm.